Hello, welcome back to KO Math. Today I am excited to share with you a technique that will let you solve these limit problems pretty quick. Note that these limits are of the indeterminate form 0 over 0. If you are asked to find these limits, probably you will be using either rationalization or El Hopital's rule to evaluate the limits. But today, I'll show you that we can easily find the limits without using rationalization or El Hopital's rule. Let's begin. Consider this first limit problem. As x goes to 0, our numerator goes to 0 as well as our denominator. So this limit has the indeterminate form 0 over 0. If you know the technique that I have in mind, you can easily tell the limit of this function. And the limit is equal to 1 over 15. If you want to uh, verify that this is indeed the correct limit of this expression as x goes to 0, then we can apply El Hopital's rule. So if we apply El Hopital's rule, this will be equal to limit as x goes to 0 of the quotient of the derivatives of the numerator and the denominator. So if we take the derivative of the numerator, we'll get 1 third times 1 plus x raised to 4 and then subtract 1 from the power. So the power is 1 third subtract 1, so that will be negative 2 thirds. And then times chain rule times the derivative of the base, which is equal to 4x cubed. And then all over the derivative of our denominator, so that is equal to 20x cubed. And here, before we evaluate the limit, we have to cancel common factor first. So we can cancel this x cube and then x cube. Of course, we replace them by 1. And now we can already evaluate the limit. And the limit is equal to 1 third times 1 raised to negative 2 thirds is just 1. And then times 4 all over 20. And of course, 20 is equal to uh, 4 times 5. So it is clear that this is equal to 1 over 15. So how did I arrive to this answer quickly? Before I share my technique with you, let us first solve the second limit problem. So let's consider the limit as x goes to 0 of this radical expression over 4x squared. Again, we have a limit of the form 0 over 0. Just by looking at this expression, I can already determine the limit. And it's equal to 1 over 10 times 2 over 4, which is equal to 1 over 20. And again, if you want to check our answer, if we're going to apply El Hopital's rule, this is equal to limit as x goes to 0 of, again, you apply uh, extended power rule here. So the power here is just 1 over 10, same as this one. Of course, you apply the power rule with the chain rule. So you'll get here 1 over 10 times 1 plus x squared raised to 1 over 10 minus 1, which is negative 9 over 10. Okay, And then times the derivative of the base, which is equal to 2x. And then minus, you have again 1 over 10 times 1 minus x squared raised to negative 9 over 10. And then times the derivative of the base, which is in this case, it's negative 2x. And then all over the derivative of the denominator, which is equal to 8x. And we can write the numerator as, so this is limit as x goes to 0 of uh, 2x times 1 over 10. So that is 1 over 5x times, of course, the quantity. So let's factor out 1 over 5x. So from both terms in the numerator, so we have 1 plus x squared raised to negative 9 over 10. And then... Uh, also, this one, negative 2x times negative 1 over 10, so that is positive 1 over 5x. So we factor that out and we'll get the remaining factor here, which is positive 1 minus x squared raised to negative 9 over 10. And then all over 8x. So we have here a common factor, so we can cancel the common factor x, cancel, cancel. 
we replace them by 1 and now we can already evaluate the limit because the limit of our denominator is not equal to 0 limit of this one 1 plus 0 raised to negative 9 over 10 is just 1 1 minus 0 again raised to negative 9 over 10 is it is just equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so therefore the limit of the numerator is 1 over 5 times 2 all over 8 and this is equal to 2 over 40 which is equal to 1 over 20 so this shows that indeed the limit of the expression is equal to 1 over 20 let me now share with you the trick that I'm using here to evaluate limit quickly. So here I'm using the binomial series expansion for the nth root of 1 plus x. So this nth root of 1 plus x can be written as an infinite sum. So you may think of this one as a Taylor series or in particular it's a Maclaurin series because it is expanded okay where the center is at zero so this infinite series is convergent for all x between negative one and positive one inclusive of the endpoints so uh, in the problem in the limit problems we're actually looking for limits where we have here an expression that is close to zero so therefore if it is close to zero we are sure that absolute value of x is less than or equal to one so we can write this expression nth root of one plus x to be equal to this infinite sum so here the c sub i's here are just a real constants and we can also obtain an expression for nth root of 1 minus x so we just replace the x here by negative x we'll get nth root of 1 minus x equal to alternating signs 1 minus 1 over n x plus c sub 2 x squared minus c sub 3 x cubed plus and so on so from this expansion it is clear that if we have a function limit of f of x as x goes to 0 uh, equal to 0 then we may use this expansion for the nth root of 1 plus f of x because we know that the value of f of x is what between negative 1 and 1 so we may write this nth root of 1 plus f of x as 1 plus this must be 1 over n here so uh, we have 1 over n times f of x and then plus c sub 2 f squared x plus c sub 3 f cube x and so on so take note that these are ordinary powers of the function f of x they are not derivatives and using this series expansion we'll get our limit trick which is if, if limit of f of x as x goes to 0 is equal to 0 and limit of f of x over another function exists and it's equal to L, then limit of this radical expression, nth root of 1 plus f of x minus 1 all over g of x is just equal to 1 over n. So you may think of this 1 over n as the power of 1 plus f of x times the limit of f of x over g of x so when you take the limit of this expression it's like you remove the radical symbol and by removing this radical symbol you put the 1 over n here and then times the limit of the expression without the radical symbol so if you remove this radical symbol what's left in the numerator it is only f of x so here you have limit of f of x over g of x so if the limit of this f of x over g of x is l then the limit of this expression is just l over n and even if we have a difference of two nth roots in the numerator 1 minus f of x then finding the limit of this expression is just we remove the radical symbol here you just have 1 over n and then just take the limit of the expression without the radical and you'll get here 1 plus f of x minus 1 plus f of x so you distribute the negative sign and you'll get 2 f of x in the numerator over g of x 
Of course, the limit of this will be equal to 2L. So therefore, the limit of this expression is equal to 2L over N. Let's go back to the previous uh, two problems. So we're looking for the limit of this expression. So here, our f of x, this x raised to 4 goes to 0 as x goes to 0. So therefore, finding the limit of this is very easy because we know already the limit of this like f of x over g of x and it is just equal to 1 over 5. So using our technique, the limit is just 1 third, which is the power of this 1 plus x raised to 4. So that is 1 plus x raised to 4 quantity raised to 1 third. So you'll have there 1 third times the limit of this expression without the radical. And if we, remove, if we remove the radical, we'll get 1 plus x raised to 4 minus 1. So we're left with x raised to 4 in the numerator. And the limit of this expression is just 1 over 5. So you just multiply this by 1 over 5. You'll get immediately the limit, which is equal to 1 over 15. And going back to the second problem. So we're looking for the limit of this expression. So again, this is just an nth root of 1 plus f of x minus nth root of 1 minus x, x squared. So our n is equal to 10. So using our technique, the limit is just, again, 1 over n, the index. In this case, it's equal to 10 times the limit of the expression without the radical. And what is the limit of this expression without the radical? If we remove these two radicals, we're left with 1 plus x squared minus 1 plus x squared in the numerator. So you'll have here 2x squared over 4x squared. And what is the limit of that? The limit is just 2 over 4, which is equal to 1 over 20. Now, consider this uh, third problem. Again, using our technique, we can easily determine the limit of this expression. And it is equal to, again, 1 over the index, which is equal to 5, times the limit of the expression without the radical. And if we remove this uh, fifth root here, we'll be left with sine cube x in the numerator and then divided by x cube. And this is just equal to 1 over 5 limit as x goes to 0 of, we can just factor out the power of 3 here and write it down as sine x over x. And if you still remember, what is the limit of sine x over x as x goes to 0? Of course, this is equal to, it's equal to 1. So we can already evaluate the limit. So this is just 1 cube, which is equal to 1 over 5. In case you forgot uh, the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0, then you may apply El Hopital's rule. It becomes limit of cosine x over 1 as x approaches 0, which is just equal to 1. So therefore, the limit is equal to 1 fifth. Now let's move to our fourth problem. So we want to find the limit of this expression as x goes to 0. Again, what is tangent of 0? Tangent of 0 is equal to 0. So the numerator will go to cube root of 1 minus cube root of 1. So that is 0. So we still have an indeterminate form 0 over 0. And keep in mind, so as I said, as x goes to 0 here, tangent x goes to 0. So we can still apply our technique. And how do we find the limit? Again, we just remove the radical symbols. And it's like removing the radical symbols. You put here 1 over 3, which is the power of 1 minus tangent x and 1 plus tangent x. And then times the limit of the expression without the radical. And if we remove the radical symbol, we have 1 minus tangent x minus 1 minus tangent x. That will give us minus 2 tangent x all over 2x. Okay. And what is the limit of this as x goes to 0? So again, this is an indeterminate form 0 over 0. You can apply here El Hopital's rule. So this is limit as x goes to 0 of, so of course here we can already cancel the 2. 
okay cancel cancel so limit of uh, tangent x over x by l hopital's rule it is only equal to secant squared x all over one as x approaches zero which is equal to one third times secant of zero is just one because secant x is one over cosine x and cosine of zero is just one so this is equal to one which is equal to one third now let me give you a bonus problem before we end this video suppose we want to find the limit of this expression so this is a different problem compared to the uh, previous problems because we don't have here one it's not 1 plus f of x and then 1 minus f of x. But again, we can do some algebra here to make it look like as 1 plus f of x and then 1 minus f of x. So we can just uh, factor out the 4 here and write down the radicand as 4 times 1 plus x over 4. And this radicand here can be written as 4 times 1 minus x over 4. And since both of these radicals okay, have a factor root 4, which is equal to 2, we can factor that out and just move it outside of the limit. So we'll get 2 times limit of this expression as x approaches 0. Now as x approaches 0, x over 4 approaches 0. So we can apply our technique in this case. And the limit of this expression is just equal to, again, when we remove the radical square root, we'll have here the 1 half times the limit of the expression without the radical. And that is 1 minus 1 is 0, x over 4 minus negative x over 4 will give us 2x over 4 or that is x over 2 and then all over x and we can just uh, cancel the x here and that is 1 1 so limit of 1 half is equal to 1 half okay that's everything i have for you today if you enjoy the tips that you learned in this video please don't forget to hit that like button below and please share this to your friends also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the new videos that i release every week again this is dennis of ko math thanks for watching and hope to see you next time bye bye